understand the topic what is the contribution of our nation towards the modern political arena where the main principles are non-violence and non-alignment yes our nation india has always been in a saga of political revolution may it be in ancient india may it be in medieval india or may it be in modern india coming to the topic contribution of our nation to modern political thinking now what is modern political thinking it is a generalized term which comprises all the thoughts theories and values of a person a civilization which has gone through an arduous path of 5000 years of political evolution has given genesis to many unique political thought a subcontinent which has not just witnessed but has a first hand experience of different political experiments from different races of the world be it the vedic aryans the guptas the mauryas the cholas the huns the turks the afghans and finally the british almost every leading race of the world has its footprint on this subcontinent if we talk about the political thinking of india good morning everyone i punam rai of class 7 is standing before you to present a speech on the topic india a republic republic day is also called on 26 january which is celebrated every year this day matters to every indian because on this day our country were declared as a republic country and at the same time after a long struggle the constitution of india were dated and uh, at, and the india became independence on august 15 1947 and after half a year it was established as a democratic republic after the independence on 28 august 1947 the draft committee was asked to draft the constitution of good evening to all and all present over here esteemed judges respected teachers and my fellow competitors today i feel fortunate to express my views on the assigned topic india a republic to make india republic was a himalayan task it was an extraordinary achievement and a monumental success in the history of the world the campaign for this involved was a cumbersome affair for a long period mother india was under the british subjugation during this period india was in the chain and governed by the british people on 15th august 1947 mother india became free the free people of india desired to make their own constitution the new constitution came into force on 26th january 1950 according to it india is a sovereign democratic and a republic the term republic means a state of government having a government of the people for the people and by the people it had all the real functions of all power the